blessed to you guys. It's highly with Sacred Life Products. Today I'm going to teach you how to source shiny root for yourself, you know? So you don't got to go online and be looking for all these different sources that you may not trust. You don't know where it's coming from. So what better place to get it but nature? So today I'm going to teach you how to source shiny root for yourself, how to identify it, and uh, all the benefits of this great, great root because this root is packed with so much nutrients and iron. Last year, I, I didn't have this much gains, you know? And since I've been taking this root, it's been helping me out a lot when it comes to gains, when it comes to keeping fat off my body, melting like butter, you know? So first and foremost, what is Cheney root? Now, Cheney root is a root that grows in mostly tropical climates, grows deep within the ground, and it shoots out a vine that grows from the top of the yam head, because you know, Another name for chain root is wild yam. So it shoots out a vine that grows from the top of the yam head. It's very prickly. That's another way how you identify it. It's a pretty thick vine as well. It's pretty sturdy. The vine usually grows alongside trees. It loves to be in the forest. So you're not gonna find this root anywhere in the open sun. If you wanna find chain root, you're gonna have to go into the forest. It's very challenging to, to actually dig this up. So what I recommend you to do is get like a crowbar, or some type of stick or pole that will give you leverage. Now what this root is good for, it balances male and female hormones, it strengthens your bones, ligaments and connective tissue, your joints, cleanses your blood, contaminants in your bloodstream. This will be sure to get it out. It's really good for muscle building. And believe me, I never had arms like this and definition like this until I started taking Cheney Root. Cheney Root definitely gets you the games, man. I, my arms was not looking like this last year. It's also good for athletic performance. So if you're an athlete and you wanna get that extra stamina, the extra spark in your game, Cheney Root is the way to go. Now this is a tonic herb. So this herb can be used as a tonic. You can drink it in the morning to give you that stamina. Usually I take it before the gym or I take it before a very busy day. So enough talking, man. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to source it for yourself so you can bring healing to your body, your family, and your home. All right, guys, stay tuned. So we're in the jungle. You're not gonna find it in any open areas. It's usually like, it likes to be up underneath trees. Also, be careful when you're walking through this forest, guys, because look, I almost walked into this big old spider. Look at this, man. All right, now here we are. Like I said, you will always find it next to a tree. All right, you'll always find it growing alongside a tree. You're not gonna find it growing alongside a small tree or any bushes. You're gonna find it growing alongside a big tree, right? So let's play a little game. Who can spot the Cheney root? Here's the Cheney root now, right? So as you can see here, this is the vine I was telling you about, right? These are the thorns that grow on it. And you can see it running all the way up the tree for support. This is a green vine, which tells you that the chain root itself is still kind of young. So if I were to dig this up now, follow, you know, trace it back to the yam head. If I were to dig this up, I'll be quite disappointed because when I dig it up, the chain root will be very young and it'll be like a a white color instead of a crimson red color or a rustic red color. That's how you know the cheney root is ripe. This is actually the perfect example of a ripe cheney root vine. Now look at this here. Even though it's still green, when you trace it back to the yam head, or well, the cheney root head, it gets darker. You see how dark that is? That means that it's been here for a while. So yeah, let's dig it. Let's dig in and see how this chain root looks. Uh, as you can see, I dug out a good amount. Now it's just for me to find that sweet spot underneath and use that as leverage. Pop it up. We're almost there, I'm about, to, about to witness it popping up fully right now. This is a monster yam head. Let's see. All right. Yes. Healing to the nation. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth, man. 
y'all wondering why this herb has so much power why this herb make your muscle so strong why this more herb make your bones so strong look at it all right guys as you can see i'm sweating it took a little work but as you can see yeah this is what we got man so we're gonna go back home and i'm gonna teach y'all how to brew real roots wine don't forget to get the book making real roots wine the course coming soon the course is now is going to be a full comprehensive breakdown step by step how you can make roots tonic wine right today i just showed you how to how to source it how to identify it and how to actually dig it up right the course is going to actually teach you how to brew real authentic roots tonic wine that's also a probiotic muscle builder, a bone builder, blood cleanser, aphrodisiac, all around tonic to keep you going in this world full of hustle and bustle. Click the link in the description. Make sure you guys hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification for the next video. As always, stay sacred. I said it, I meant it, and it's facts, and I sent it. It's the real last days, it's the real. I'ma get it, only had an empty plate, so you know I had to bless it. I could never lose my fate, oh God, I ain't stressing.